westbound approaching the uh, Fallon Road area here. Over the hump, the Altamont Pass was very slow. We're still in a slowdown. Lovely. Live across the valley, this is Good Day Sacramento. It is 6.59 on this Wednesday morning. The Unamazing Race, edition two. Uh, still about 30 to 40 minutes remaining in this competition. Marquez Allen on the H train. Tina Makua in mobile 13. Who will be able to make the trip in the quickest time with the least amount of stress? <laughs> Marcus Allen seems to have the market cornered on that one, having the least amount of stress. He's found a bunch of commuters that ride together every morning, uh, making friends with them. Uh, Tina's traffic has picked up, though, and uh, they've got about... Mark's train is doing a 7.35 this morning to Santa Clara, so Tina's got about half an hour to get to the train station. We'll see how it does. All right, we'll keep checking back yep. with our crews this morning. Coolidge, you know Not too bad in that area. What is bad, though, is your commute if you're making your way between Stockton and Santa Clara, specifically if you just got past the Altamont. 580 westbound direction. Tina McCoo, T Mac on the move. Will not move in yeah, too much. Um, <laughs> let's just say that we are in a slowdown again. Uh, the transition of 580 and 680. Guess what so street I just passed? Tassa! 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 And now we're going to make the 680 <laughs> transition. And it's uh, quite slow, as you can see here. And um, let's just say the temperature is still warm in the car. <laughs> Um, and we're listening to Elvis with Blue Christmas right now. <laughs> and uh, I think I need to take something Look her face. for a soon-to-come headache because of the <laughs> driver who... Uh, <laughs> Look at this slowdown here. i got to show you this slowdown. Wow. Oh, my. Here we are. Jam cam. Transition over to 680. For those of us that live out of town... Oh, he keeps saying smile. Now i got to smile to the... Um, <laughs> Person to let us oh, in. Dave, are you one of those Dave. people? Smile, T. Are Dave. you a get over Gary? Dave is a get over Gary. Oh, he is. No. Merging late. Late merging. Dave. He's late merging. Yeah. Dangerous I have to smile. He goes, Dangerous Dave. smile. Let me let you in. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Awesome. Priceless. Pri oh, man. Speaking of priceless, this trip isn't so priceless, right? You know, it's, it depends on uh, which mode of transportation that you take. This is all about in the name of science. This is why we're doing this, people. Science. We don't just do this just for fun. Right, 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 right. We're doing this for a reason. We're trying to determine uh, what they can do, uh, who can get there quicker, and how much it's going to cost them. Marcus Allen is on the train. He's got the H train this morning. Let's see how he's doing. <laughs> it's pretty relaxing, apparently. <laughs> I, I do believe he is. Hey, wake up. Hey, Get your feet hey, out of the aisle. Hey. Oh, oh, what's going on? Uh, good morning, Marianne. Good morning, Ken. Yes, it has been a stressful commute making my way to the Bay Area on the ACE train. Stressful. Stressful indeed. Not so stressful at all. Matt, this is the easiest thing in the world. Check out these. This guy's written a novel in the time we've been on this train. This guy, he's been playing wireless blackjack on the Wi-Fi. He's up $75,000. And you, sir, you take this train a lot. Uh, every day. And I said, do you make buddies? Are you guys like all friends? And you said, yeah, in fact, you, you do get to know people. Yeah, pretty much the same people on the car every day, so you, you recognize people. There's actually quite a few new people that you'll see in the morning, too, especially since the uh, increase in gas prices. But it's very cool. I, I saw a, a lady who was leaving a while ago, and you, you said goodbye to her as though like she was an old friend, like a, a neighbor. Uh, pretty much. Pretty much. In fact, the, the lady that I fell asleep on for the first half of my stressful commute is about to get off. Let's find out where she going. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And good morning to you at home. Hi. Hi. You leaving? <laughs> yep. We just got to know each other. Oh, nice to meet you. Hey, thanks for letting me sleep on you. And uh, by the way, she, you know, she likes to keep it real. She said, this would never really happen. And it wouldn't, right? <laughs> hey, how'd it go in there? It All right. You? Okay. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, classic shot locks up. Right, right. All right, so Mark and Tina are duking it out here on the morning commute train versus uh, car commute. Mark's train is due into Santa Clara at 7.35. Tina tolerating uh, early Christmas music. And yeah, 93.1 started playing Christmas music this morning. Why? And I uh, just talked to Tina. She's making her way southbound on 680. 
still slow. Right. <laughs> She's at a severe disadvantage this morning as the unamazing race continues, continues, continues. Today, we had our uh, contenders go from Stockton to Santa Clara. Mark's on the ace train. Tina Makua in mobile unit 13. There you take a look at their progress right now. Mark uh, appears to have a sizable advantage right now because he's not worried about traffic stops. And he's sitting back relaxing, making some friends on the train. All right, take a look at the finish line in Santa Clara. That's where they are heading this morning. Mark's train is due in in just about 20 minutes or so. And finally, the, today we have a visual on the finish line. We did not yesterday, so today right. we got that part <laughs> taken care of. And we've been tracking them on a uh, mobile app this morning. And it does look like uh, Mark is beginning to take the lead, I think. Now, in the name of science, Courtney Dempsey and I did some research to find out exactly how much it would cost. Mm -hmm. So I took a look at the ticket price for the train one way from Stockton to Santa Clara is $11.75. That's what Mark S.I. Allen spent this morning. Right. And what did Tina have to spend in gas? As far as gas, and this is just one way from Stockton to uh, one way. Santa Clara. Right. Uh, the trip is $12.68 because they're going about 80 miles, so they're using about three and a half uh, gallons of gas. Right. right. You know, at the gas prices that they are. And incidentally, her carbon footprint uh -oh. is a little high. <laughs> it's over 84 yeah. pounds. So and you see, the train isn't yeah. always cheaper, but yeah. it is uh, much greener. And yes. the aggravation that she has to deal with this morning. <laughs> Not to mention the That Christmas kicks it up another $20. Too. Like, she can't get that back. <laughs> 80 degrees in the car and Christmas music on November 14th. Exactly. exactly. All right, more from them coming up. 717 now. You no longer have to travel. Welcome back to Good Day. <laughs> 20 past the hour, our unamazing race, episode two. Going on this morning, we are just about 15 minutes away from Mark's train arriving at the finish line. Where's Tina, though? That's the question. That's the question. Oh, no. See nothing but cars in front of her directly. That means her commute is not free and easy this morning. You have an update on that, Courtney? Right She's now, southbound, southbound 680 in Pleasanton, okay. uh, around Bernal Avenue. We got this. We're going like to win this 10, race. 10, 12 miles away from the station. <laughs> not, not okay, but see, here's the thing. We, we're, we're a team. Yes, yes. We're a team. You hear Mark talking to some folks. Yeah, how Mark's how train has to make extended Every stops. Wait. Yeah. So that may help her catch up. T, what did you say? What did you say, honey? 14 minutes to get there. She wants to get out of the car. <laughs> she thinks she can walk and make it faster. <laughs> oh, man. She is uh, definitely hitting a slowdown. It's hot, and they're playing Christmas light. All right, here is the finish line at the Santa Clara train station. It is... <laughs> It is coned off. They can't miss it. They can't miss it. And our camera's ready to see who gets there first. So stand by. Mark's train due in in 14, 13 minutes now this morning. Very good. So annoying. Do you hear that? Listen to how stressed out they are. Tina is yelling at Dave. She's ripping into him. Tina and Dave, it, it's, it's going to be like the Donner Party by the time they get there. Yeah, they're stuff. so angry at each other. Stuff. Yeah. But look Mark at us. Mark is making We're friends, so forging relationships. Tina is ruining one right now. <laughs> they are no longer friends after this trip. <laughs> but they have to drive together every morning, you know. No, they have to find a way to make up. That's All hilarious. right, 7.22 now. Oh, my gosh. This is very exciting. Do you hear that? We are now arriving. Ken, Marianne, yes. stop the clocks. Oh, we can just oh, stop, you stop your shot. <laughs> Oh, we thought you said stop your shot. Sounds like he's alive. He said stop your shot, right? All right, we'll take that. Okay, mother's side of the break. <laughs> Live across the valley, this is Good Day Sacramento. Welcome back. Quickly, we update you on what's happening with the Unamazing Race. It will come to a conclusion here in the next five minutes. Tina Makula is traveling on the road in Mobile 13. Marcus Allen is, apparently, he's coming to his final stop. He'll be getting off this train in just moments. We'll check in right after we take care of the important business of this morning's headlines. Approaching there on the left. All right, Kula Giannulli is in the newsroom with your top stories. It's time to check on our Unamazing Race contestants. Marcus Allen on the ACE train. Going from Stockton to Santa Clara, Tina Makua and Dave Grasshoff in a vehicle on the freeway. You see, they're still on the move. Mark, what's your status now? Woo! Woo! <laughs> I hear that trainer coming. It's coming around the bend. I hear that trainer coming. <laughs> it's signaling that camera guy and Terry and Marcus Allen are about to win. So, how far out are we? Nice. We're about a minute and a half away. There was a little snag earlier. We, uh, we were sweating bullets. Want to know why? Why? There was a signal incident. 
What does that mean? Well, a signal incident is uh, when they put a train in front of us and they want to make sure they can get them safely by. Right, and it turned out it was no incident whatsoever. But like Denzel Washington, I climbed up on top of the trains and I ran all the way back just to see if I needed to put brakes on. And they said, no, go back to your seat. I'm just kidding. You could never do that. They would throw you off this train so quick. <laughs> all right, so that, that signal, I hear that horn, and that means we're about to pull in. Yeah, we're getting close. Uh, we're coming to a slowdown here, and we should be here any minute. Do you, uh, do you know the ratio of uh, on-time trains? Like, you guys are like clockwork. The, the trains seem to run like trains. Yeah, actually, we're uh, one of the higher ones. We're 99% on time. So, All right. Nice. Uh, hey, I want you guys to uh, talk to Tina Makua for a moment while I soak in what it's going to feel like to be victorious in about 25 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Tina, how's that winners. feeling in there? Yeah. Would you give camera guy Dave a big sloppy kiss for me? It's what I usually do when we're in the field. Now, um, getting through, uh, let's see, I think getting close to Milpitas. <laughs> We're going to actually head out towards um, 880 and then head south and then 82. And uh, yeah, we have like 15 more miles to go. Oh, so yeah. here we are. Wow. The song, stuck in Meanwhile, traffic. Mark's train pulling oh, into yeah. the station. It's been our, great, so you've been awesome. Our mass cam is uh, following along and left on time and it is arriving on time just about 735 is what it says on the schedule it is 736 so it looks like uh, mark has all the advantages his ticket cost eleven dollars and seventy five cents he's been able to make friends no stress just relaxing there in a nice environment and he seems like he's going to beat tina by maybe 15 20 minutes meanwhile tina getting baked by dave having the heat cranked up and listening to christmas tunes melting her yogurt and her makeup <laughs> she said so i think we have a clear oh, winner man. today oh here we go Oh, the winners Let's hear that music. of the Unamazing Race. Okay. So you've been awesome, by the way. Thank you. You guys have been a blast. I'm a big fan of Ace Train. I'm going to open up a snack service on it because I could make a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Okay. To the finish line. the finish line. Yes, that's yes. right. Again! Hey! Hey! Terry, I We gotta find the finish line! Knuckleheads. Terry! <laughs> Terry! Terry's still on the train. What are you guys doing? Hey, he's just there. Terry! He's shot of the train as his leash, you know, because he's got the artistic in that mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay, the train's not. Where are they? They are they're making Terry. their way toward this. Terry! <laughs> you can't but like on the amazing race, both members have to cross the line. And once they do, we'll start a clock and see how much of an advantage, a time advantage he has over Tina and Dave. Okay, here we go. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Buffering. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yay! Yay! Finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going all T-ball on us for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We should, right? I know. Where's Hager? <laughs> Here comes Here his teammate. Comes. Poor Terry. He's got back problems. Oh, right? I know, right? The back problems. <laughs> All back wire and a camera. Oh, jeez. Welcome. Here. But here we are. Okay. That's what it feels like. Look at <laughs> Now it's officially over. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there it is. Gosh. One oh, person man. across. Terry goes across. It is now official. Woo! The winning team. All right, let's start that clock and see how long from now until Tina and Dave get to the station. Oh, oh Tina. dear. Yeah, we're going to run the little stopwatch here. Now, here's the thing. See. What's if up? I were, if I were Mark and Harry, I wouldn't be so jovial because <laughs> Tina is the one operating the vehicle in which they have to drive back to Sacramento. Right. Oh. See, I'm just saying. Uh, that's going to be a fun ride back. I'm just saying. You just don't bite stuff. the hand that feeds you. That's going to be a fun <laughs> ride back. Look She's like, oh, face. yes, my pretty. Oh, yes. Yes, my yes. pretty. Yes. All right, you guys chill out. Have a hot chocolate while Tina and Dave uh, keep heading there toward the Amtrak station, or the uh, Ace Train station there. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> okay, coming up after the break, we'll have a recap of the unamazing race <laughs> and comments from both competitors. Hey, plus dogs helping.
Welcome back. 742 on this Wednesday morning. The second installment of the un-amazing race. Well, our first competitor has already crossed the finish line. This is what it looked like just minutes ago. Marcus Allen crossing the finish line at the Santa Clara Ace Train Station. And his photographer would follow right behind him. Oh, However. Just, yeah, waiting for Tina Makua, who is stuck in traffic, as we've seen. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Nice job, by the way. Nice job. Right? Yeah. You know, Ken, we thought we'd do them a little favor. So for camera guy Dave and Tina, because we know they've had a very stressful morning, we're bringing the finish line to them. <laughs> and by the way, what a cute little train depot. That looks like an old school Ooh. petticoat junction yeah. station. <laughs> Sorry, dated reference lost on much, much younger viewers. <laughs> In the meantime, we're going to take the finish line over to them. Please ask Tina how she's doing. How's uh, it going, Tina? woo <laughs> She's doing great. How am I doing? How am I doing? I'm about to strangle someone right now. <laughs> I don't know how these people do it. I got to give it up to them. They have big hearts, a lot of patience to be on this commute all the time along the Altamont Pass was hectic. I thought I'd be okay once we get on 680 and ah, no problem at all. When we're on 680, then more slowdowns. All right, it's uh, they're almost six minutes anyway, behind Mark and Terry right now. Day. Congratulations, Mark. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So I, I say the train sounds like an excellent option. Right. An excellent option for this type of commute to have to go right. this far. That is oh, that's not a good sight. That is not good scenery at all. Is that an off ramp? I'm, I guess it must be. Oh. You know. Wow. Just their luck, they get behind the, the big truck <laughs> that's carrying a load. <laughs> and no, you cannot go around them. No, no, you cannot. Oh, no, man. it's Mark and Terry uh, gloating. So we've got one win for Amy. Uh, or, or Well, people say Mark lost yesterday, but the book's kind of still out. But Amy did arrive I think at she the did destination arrive when first. She mm -hmm. So one win for Mark today. So now he's one and one. What will our third destination hmm. be? What will hmm. our third unamazing race matchup be? So can't leave it at a tie. Right, that's a good point. Cannot leave it at a tie. Now, hmm. looks pretty good. All right, stand by. Tina will be there shortly. Man's best friend is helping. And Tina Makua still using her patience because she's still on the free, <laughs> still on the freeway, attempting oh, to get to course. Santa Clara. We're in a slowdown again. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so, I'm just kind of like over this. Right <laughs> now. Oh my. God. Uh, we're on southbound 880 finally after we went through that whole Warm Springs District Mission Boulevard thing. We went past <laughs> Milpitas. Milpitas. And now uh, we're near Montague Expressway. So we got another about, I don't know, seven or eight miles wow. to the Highway 82 Santa Clara turn here. And, and you're uh, still the sun 15 is very bright. Behind. Yes, indeed. As you can see, that is in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, we're like 15, 20 minutes behind. and. Meanwhile, she does not look happy. Not at all. Meanwhile, I'm listening to nice music again, 200 degrees in this car. <laughs> <laughs> Dave bundled up in a sweatshirt, even. <laughs> oh, oh my. So, seven, eight minutes at that speed, it's probably going to take her at least another 12 minutes. <laughs> at, at, at least. least. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, Mark and Terry just kicking back, having a mocha. You know? Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> well, a new sandwich shop.